from the Digital Media Center on the campus of Southern Oregon University in Ashland, Oregon. This is Ramping Up Your English, an educational program for intermediate level English language learners. Here's your host for Ramping Up Your English, John Letts. up your English, a program for intermediate language learners. Now horses don't talk, but we're featuring horses today on this program, episode 33. Um, you know, ramping up your English is for people from all language backgrounds and all ages. And we do thematic units in this program for content-based ESL, English as a Second Language. And our theme now is horses. Boy, I'm, I'm getting the flies. You see, horses have to deal with flies. And Doxy here is trying to get rid of these flies flying around her eyes. And boy, I don't blame her. So, you know, most people know something about uh, animals. And people have their own ideas of their favorite animals. But I think everyone would agree that horses are one of the most magnificent animals on Earth. So welcome again to Ramping Up Your English. Horses have a grace and a beauty that's hard to describe in any language. So we start our theme of animals with these horses. My director Denise Ross and her daughter Michelle treated their horses to a ride and treated us to some great video of horses. We see Doxy first and then Cowboy. Here comes Cowboy. Yes. Now you don't usually just jump up on a horse and ride. There are some steps to take and a good place to start is grooming. You think they look forward to that? She does. She loves it. Yeah. When you start grooming her, she's just... Denise and Michelle are using brushes to groom the fur, what we call the coat, of Doxy and Cowboy. I suppose that to the horses, it's like getting a massage. They certainly seem to enjoy it. <laughs> oh, let me zoom in on this horse smile. Mr. Cowboy, you loving that, aren't you? <laughs> but God, don't stop. Hmm. This is a curry comb. This is used, um, especially in the springtime when they're um, shedding, and you can come through and just take off big things of um, hair when they're shedding. And you can just see how much more it takes off. And then this is just a regular brush. Okay. So with our horse. That's called the mane that you're uh, brushing, right? You want to be either very close to it or just a large, long distance away. And that part in, between the ears up on the forehead that's called the furlock? Yep. Like a regular hair comb, and this is for their tail and their mane. Oh, okay. So, so you really you want to get mane. the snarls out. Yeah, yeah. Not sure if you like that or not. Huh? And this is where then they can get it nice and smooth, and they can braid their manes, they can braid their tails, but this helps get the snarls out. Okay, and this is just another type of a brush, plastic, and hold it in your hand like this, and just go. So there's many different types of brushes and different varieties, um, different price range. But you can see what it gets off. Okay. And then this is always a good one, it's called mane and tail. 
and this is to give them their baths or give them a, get them all cleaned up and shiny. And then this one is just a um, a saddle soap. So this will be for the bridles for um, your saddles to get those all nice and bright and shiny and stuff. And then the regular one that we just don't have with us right now is um, just good old saddle soap. You know that it comes in the can to rub mm. the cream saddle soap and that works. So you can see here how her foot is positioned. Okay. That means she's very, very comfortable. She's at ease. Uh, wherever the ears are pointing is where they're paying attention. Oh. So right now he's kind of focused. They're kind of turned back towards me. He knows I'm back here and brushing him. Whereas if they're forward, they're obviously focused on something in front of them. If they're pinned to the back, they're super angry and stressed out and nervous. Those, that's when you have to watch, be careful, is when those ears are pinned back, you've got 1,200 pounds of anger. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> so here's the pit. Watch Michelle clean the horse's feet out. And see how she goes down? Mm-hmm. That's so that the horse will lift up its foot. Get cleaned out. Oh. And you should clean that's a matter horses. of training? You should clean your horse's feet before you ride every time. Every time. Sure. And okay. Yeah, that's one thing you should always do. Let's start with the saddle blanket. It protects the horse from getting pinched by the leather. Here comes the heavy leather. Adjust and make sure it's not pinching his back. We've got two pieces. Actually wraps around a couple times. Cute little bow knot to keep it safe. And this part stays looser than the front. Now we're saddled up and ready to ride. We'll return to the ranch in a few minutes, but first it's back to the studio for some language instruction. You know, I might have to come out and visit Doxy once in a while. We kind of have a